welcome back to Cigar Time, the world's largest viewed television show just all about cigar. What are you guys laughing at? Well, we, haven't even, we haven't even started and already yeah. you're laughing. Because it's funny. Yeah, it's funny. It's hey, funny. But it's true. Okay. And more to come later. That's true. And Much be, more later. And it'll true. be even funnier. It'll be it'll even be. funnier. <laughs> yeah. It will be hilarious. It will be hilarious. Well, since this show is running on September 2nd, we hope you've all had a great Labor Day weekend. Traditional close of the summer, but the weather still still seems to be holding up. And get out there and enjoy a golf date or a yeah. good smoke outdoors. Or and this has been the best summer ever. And it's been a good the, summer. The weather has been, been incredible. Been Just too short. The weather's short. horrible. It, yeah, it's too short. Couple it's days, true. couple days. Yeah. And all the rain seemed to come in the middle of the night yeah. and lots of it. Right, exactly. It was Weird. awesome. Kind you of don't like it? No, it's not hot enough. What? I need heat. Oh. Get out. Yes. Okay. If it's, if it's under 90, I'm freezing. Well, be oh my be God. before the lovely Miss T tells us all about our cigar today, we just want to remind everybody that September is Perdomo month. Perdomo. Mm -hmm. hey. <laughs> try to get, I love the Perdomo Try not to get family. overly awesome. excited about hey. it. Hey, when our studio audience is clapping. Woo woo. Yeah, our nine stores will be running lots of great deals on Perdomo products. They're great great family to do business with and yep. I've known Nick and his family since they started which is kind of timed around the time we started so uh, more about that later want to welcome a new sponsor to the Cigar Time uh, lineup of Yay. sponsors uh, I think they figured it out how it is in case you missed it it's Zycar Zycar yeah. everybody hold up their lighters Yay. everybody has their own individual color I've yellow uh, I'm Blanco. <laughs> Zycar cutters and lighters, I'm sure most of you are familiar with Matching them. Matching accessories. Are the, uh, probably the largest want. selling high quality, uh, reasonably priced products you can find out there. Oh, they're, they're fantastic. Yes. They are. And we've been selling them for years and like I say, we're very, very pleased to have them on board as a sponsor. We just sold one today. Uh, light. Scott's going to tell you about the Illum lighter, which is what we're all holding up here. This is Please the, talk uh, quickly because I'm anxious to cut and light my yeah, yeah. cigar. Paul's, Paul's having a heart attack over here. Go ahead and do it while I'm talking. <laughs> He's shaking. <laughs> this is the Illum. It's uh, the, one of the newest in their series. It comes with a really nice variety of colors. I have yellow. Yeah, yeah. Amarillo. Which is, which, really Amarillo. Which is matching. I'm black. Yes. Amarillo. One of the, some of the things that are great about this lighter is, first of all, it's very stylish. and It's, it's small and it's compact. It's very light. Um, but it's a full, I mean, it's a fully functional lighter. It's, it's got all the power of a regular lighter. Mm -hmm. It's um, a torch. It, it's a torch, but it doesn't, it doesn't take up a lot of room in your pocket. It's not one of those things that's knocking around. Um, it's single squeeze. You have a girl <laughs> <like that. Right. laughs> It's very easy to use. Um, it also has a little a thing on the top. I don't know if you can see that, but when it's not being lit, it closes. So when it's in your pocket, it keeps any of the lint or any of the dust that's in your pocket out. So it, doesn't clog up the jets. Um, they put a fuel window in it. I know it kind of seems, but we get customers all the time that complain when something doesn't have a fuel window. Yeah. So you can actually yeah. you can actually see whether it's full or not. Um, it's got a, a really nice large adjustment wheel, so it's very very easy. You don't have to use a screwdriver. Ugh, just to adjust good, the flame. Great. Very easy to adjust the flame. Um, so, you left you left out the most important thing about a Zycar lighter. Well, the lifetime warranty. It's, lifetime it's warranty, warranty forever. Warranty. Lifetime warranty. And they mean lifetime. And they lifetime. Mean no no arguments. Any Zycar product, like I'm using the cutter now, like if unless you lose it, you'll never need another cutter or lighter. That's yeah, true. They'll, they'll replace it. They yeah. redesigned this lighter. They made a, the tank bigger. That's right. It might look really small. But it's all tank. The, the tank is huge inside, so you'll, you'll hold a lot of butane for you. So you, long time. I love the. I love do you mean the laws of physics cease to apply in your lighter? That is correct. <laughs> you do. Now this lighter is is new. Uh, it's just arriving the last month or so into your retail dealers. So please, uh, it's a great lighter. Go check it out at any, of course, any of our nine stores. We'd love to have you in. Whatever but anywhere. Anywhere where you buy your cigars or spend your time in the lounge, check out this new Illum lighter. More later. Okay, lovely Miss T will tell us all about our cigar today. We're smoking the Perdomo Champagne Noir to go with our Perdomo month. The wrapper was actually a Nicaraguan Puro. So the wrapper is a Nicaraguan Maduro. The sizes are a lot. <laughs> Churchill. <laughs> a lot there? No. A lot. <laughs> it's a it's Churchill, so Corona, Gordo, Perfecto, Robusto, Toro, and Torpedo. 
and it has a really nice flavor profile. It's notes of coffee, coca, sweet cedar, and of course, earth. I, I see a lot of cigars have a lot of earth. Especially yeah. Nicaraguan. Yeah. It comes from the earth. Yeah. So if the earth is wet, that would be like a muddy flavor. Yeah. It's uh, actually aged two years, triple fermented, and it's medium to full. And the wrapper is actually aged in um, bourbon barrels? In the bourbon, bourbon, bourbon barrels. Bourbon yeah. barrels. Yeah. 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 Part of the time, not the entire time. Yeah, not the entire time, but partially aged in bourbon barrels. I think yeah. we should right. save bourbon barrel so conversation like for the new cigar. Uh, didn't we previously review the new 12-year oh. bourbon cast aged? Uh, double we, double we, yes. yes, we did. It was last week's show, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you were nicked it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, that's great. We lit, we smoked. I'm what, lighting. What's uh, a lot of smoke, man? These things put out a lot. Yeah, no. Yeah, it was just, it's actually a nice, yeah, thick, chewy type of smoke. So I still want to know why the smoke is so steel gray when it comes out of the cigar, but when it comes out of my mouth, it's like a brownish color. Uh, you, have like to, you have to brush think, your yeah, teeth more say, often. I think it's too much nicotine stuck in there. Oxygen and helium. No, actually. Yeah, I have not. No, but if no, you think about really. it, if you look at the smoke when it comes out of the back of the cigar as opposed to when it comes out of the burn point, mm -hmm. it's darker. You can see it right there. Yeah. It right. has to do with going actually, through all that extra tobacco. Little, yeah, it does, actually. Wow. I've always wondered about that. Because, yeah, look at that. I mean, that's a great steel blue. Smoke, but yeah. Huh. Interesting. Oh yeah, I do see. Look, you see the blue. See the blue. I know nothing. I know nothing about physics. The brown smoke tastes way better Absolutely. than the blue smoke. <laughs> I don't know. Look for a brown well, smoke. Well, smoke the other end of the cigar and tell me what you think. I've done that before. <laughs> uh, I'm not a real cigar smoker, having burnt your mouth with a cigar. That's true. Yeah. Well, Next Paul, time I your, need a bullet. Uh, cut. What are your initial comments about the cigar? I find it to be really rich. It's got spice, but not too much. Mm -hmm. It's a, I'd call it not a, not a strong cigar, but a full flavored cigar. I like it a lot. You know, the first time I smoked one of these, my initial reaction was almost like taking powdered cocoa and it's like somebody threw it in my mouth. Yeah. Not sweetened, like, but the, like the baking of uh, cocoa. It was Bitter, it, bittersweet. Yeah, exactly. Um, so much was, flavor in this cigar. No we're Swiss Miss. Reviewing the cigar no, after a quarter inch. No, we're going to come back with more. I no. just want your initial. Um, There's a reason. I get a, I get a, a toasty taste to it so far. You taste the cocoa? I do taste the cocoa, but I also get a toast taste to it. Toast taste to it, yes. Yeah. There's a reason I wanted, exactly. before we come around and review it after smoking a little more, this cigar has a unique from the first draw that I wanted, I wanted everybody's opinion on that. Okay. Tia? I get the sweet cedar from the first. Because it's... Normally, when you first light up a cigar, you get that impact, and I'm not getting that with this one. So I'm I'm leaning more towards the sweet cedar. Okay, I can I can I'm tasting cedar also. Mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of it's, different it's, flavors it's going Spanish on. Cedar, as opposed to the American cedar. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's that's Spanish cedar. Hey, what are you laughing at? Nothing. What's so funny? Nothing. She looked at you and started laughing. I did. I mean, I can understand. It's a common, it's a common occurrence. It is. Especially in my house. Oh, you, you get as much respect from your kids as I get from mine, huh? you come in, they said, oh, Rodney Dangerfield's back. You get no respect. Oh, my God. Rick's here. Oh, Rick's here. Oh, Rick Blaine? I don't know what last name is. Oh, famous, famous. Don't forget it. That's a good piece of trivia. Oh, porn stars. Pawn. Oh, a pawn star. Hey, well, he just said another. Anyway. That's a good piece of hey, trivia, minute, though. Most people don't know here. who Rick, what Rick's field. last name is. I want to give everybody an update on the from, FDA from, regulation. Uh, Casablanca. Uh, back in See, the middle of blame. April or so, the uh, FDA announced a series of what they call deeming regulations or pending regulations uh, that affect about everybody in the cigar or uh, e-cigarette or vaping business or will affect when it finally approves. Yeah. Uh, there's so much written about this that I'm not going to bore everybody to death. Thank with God. <laughs> thank you. I gave you a line. I was just waiting for somebody to use it. I won't bore everybody with what all it contains. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with it. And if you're not, it's very easy to find. Just, just go to tobacco.org and put in deeming regulations and uh, 250 pages will pop up. Only about 30 pertain to premium cigars, which is what we are all in love with. The rest is uh, I might as well set a few facts straight. Well, a lot of people are going around saying 
a lot of things about the regulations. Uh, you won't be able to go into a humidor anymore. You won't be able to do this. You won't be able to do that. As near as we can figure, and we've been reading these things for years, and, and the FDA promulgated rules are no different than what we thought were coming years ago. There is no plan to ban cigars. There is no plan to take away the humidors or, or take away your ability in an adults-only facility. If you shop in, uh, let's, I'm sure a lot of you are in Pennsylvania, if you shop in Pennsylvania, any store that, that allows smoking in it has to have a special license from the state which requires them to only allow anyone over 18 into the store. So since it is considered an adults-only establishment, right. the only inconvenience may be if you look 27 or younger, obviously you have to be carded. show, you know, carded, be show photographic identity cards right. from the state or the feds. That's nothing new for us. Yeah, we've yeah. been doing it for years. Yeah. So bottom line is, not much will change. Uh, I know some of you are concerned that you'll only be able to buy $10 cigars. No, no, none of that's true. There's a lot of people going around with a lot of misinformation, but that is not the case. I might add a personal word. There's a wonderful family that's been running a cigar company for a very, very long time, and that's the Newman Brothers, Bobby and Eric of the J.C. Newman Company. Their factory in Ybor City, Tampa, Florida, has been in existence for over 100 years. Part of the regulations may dramatically impact them. Uh, I implore all of you to take a moment on any cigar blog or, or cigar aficionado's page or just about anywhere there are petitions that you can sign to try to keep that as a historical site and, and, and to keep the factory going. I can tell you, and some of the people on the panel have been with me in a tour of the factory, two finer people you won't meet. They care about their 130 employees. They know every one of them by name. The yeah, average, that was amazing. Yeah, every one of them they know by name. And, and it seems like the average person has worked there 20 or 25 years. It's a great family. It's a wonderful company to do business with. You know, we're honored and pleased to have, have been doing business with them for a very, very long time. I knew their father. And it just, you know, if you can take a moment and help save that factory, I know all of us on the panel and, and on behalf of cigar aficionados everywhere, we really would appreciate it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Don't we What's have, my name? Don't we have, <laughs> don't oh, we I'm, have some people going down there on a trip that they want oh, yes. from us? Uh, okay. Last month was J.C. Newman month. And, and four people won an all-expense trip to the factory down there, airfare, hotel, everything included, and somebody won a uh, beautiful leather yes. easy chair, which, <laughs> which I wanted to win, but didn't happen, <laughs> and for, for Brickhouse, which is one of their products. Uh, Diamond Crown, Maximus, Quorum, Brickhouse, Perla Del Mar are some of the products you're probably familiar with, and they are the U.S. distributors for the Puente cigars as well. So please, take a moment, go sign the petition, help save them. All the politicians, senators, congresspeople, local congresspeople are fighting to save that factory. It's a good thing for us in the cigar business, and it's a good thing if you ever get down there to go take a tour of. They have public tours, and it's just a, just a wonderful, wonderful place to go to. And, it's a blast. And it should see, and I think it's one of the last cigar factories of, of its ilk operating in the United States. Absolutely so is. so let's not, let's not let it go. So yep. Thank you. All right, let's talk about the cigar. I'll start off. Go I'll ahead. Start. I'll start. I'll start. Um, well, I didn't get as far as a lot of you guys, but um, I really like this cigar. It's very creamy, very chewy, lots of thick smoke. Um, I love the construction. The band, of course, is just very classic, like the name, Champagne Noir. Um, it's very, to me, I don't want to say mild, maybe mellow. Smooth. It's very smooth and mellow. And I'm just enjoying this cigar very much. And I, I get all the points of the taste profile on it as well, too. So it's right on. Do you? Yeah. yeah. I'm not getting the, uh, oh, oh. the coffee taste, but I do get the cocoa <laughs> and the sweet cedar taste and the earth. Um, it is, you touched upon it a little bit, it's a very hearty cigar. It puts out a ton of smoke. Yes. I haven't seen this much smoke in, in I don't know how long. Seriously, it's very know, good. Right? It's got a very nice <laughs> taste, and uh, Tia's right, it's absolutely very, very smooth. It might hide the, the, the fact that it is a little medium to fuller bodied, 
But yeah. because of the smoothness of it, it uh, it takes it right out. It's a very, very good cigar. Yeah, it almost tricks you a little bit. Yeah. I, I continue to like this cigar a lot. Mellow is a word that I would use for it because there's so much flavor, but it's very round. The mm. flavor is round. And the thing that really stands out to me is that the flavor of this cigar hits every point on my palate. Mm -hmm. It just coats the whole inside of my mouth with flavor. And I love that. Long nice finish. Nice aftertaste. Yeah, long, long finish, yes. Scott? Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I guess I agree with most of the stuff everybody said, especially the Tia hit uh, pin about the cedar. I, I'm getting a lot more cedar than anything else. Um, and the cocoa that I, that I mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. um, it's also kind of a... You're going to ask me to define this, but I don't know if I can. It's almost like a meaty cigar. That's what I said. It was hearty. Hearty, yeah. yeah well, and Tia yeah. said chewy, so we're all chewy, coming yeah. from the same yeah. place. It's like chewing hearty meat. So. <laughs> it's like chewing <laughs> hearty meat. Yeah. It's oh, like, it's like, it's like some kind of it's, hearty... It's dense. The yeah, flavor yeah, is dense. It's dense. It yeah. really is, yeah. Mm -hmm. I got the art as well. <laughs> it's that? it's like jerky. It. <laughs> it's jerky. So it. It's a jerky cigar. Yeah. Well, when you hold it, yeah. it is. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, you got me. Wow. That was good. How do I top that? That was very funny. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you know, this 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 is no doubt a great cigar. Uh, I've smoked these before, and they continue to absolutely please me. And I'm sure, not trying to drop any hints. I'm sure the panel will reward the cigar with a stellar rating. Well, can't, uh, and you can't buy it from some nicer people either. Nick, yeah. Oh, they, they are awesome. Even, you know, Arthur, they're, 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 the whole family's fantastic. They are. Nick Jr., I like Nick. He's, he's a cool dude. He is. He's yeah. been in our, he's been in our stores a, a, uh, few, a, times. Lot, a few times. Yeah. yeah. He's a good guy. We spent a lot of time with him in Vegas at one of the shows. Too. Yes. Mm -hmm. just, actually, I was just in Vegas. Mm. What happened uh, Vegas? <laughs> Vegas? Yeah, don't say a word. We're here today with Nick Perdomo and his son, Nick Perdomo. Funny how you guys go second and third, right, if I remember correctly? Yes, sir. And as we started last week discussing our relationship with Perdomo, which is long-standing, and we, we love what they do, and we hope they like us a little bit, yeah, they send us some good cigars once yeah, in a while. Like <laughs> but today uh, we have a special surprise. We're going to be talking about a new model, which I don't even know much about. So without further ado... Well, we're proud to say that Cigars Cigars is one of the first 250 accounts to carry the new Perdomo Double Age Vintage. What unique, what's unique about this cigar uh, art is I'm a big single malt scotch drinker, and I think single malt scotches and good cognacs and ports and especially bourbons today go really well yeah. with cigars. So what we did is um, we decided we were going to bring our oldest tobacco, which is actually from our 2001-2002 crop, we had it aged for 10 years in bales, and then what we do is we would case this tobacco in bourbon barrels from a company called Bland's, who makes a, a really popular bourbon called Pappy Van Winkle. I happen not to drink bourbon, but it's, it's very popular. And uh, what we did is we, we would case these tobaccos for an extra two years, so we would actually have filler, binder, and wrapper that was 12 years old. Wow. Um, <clears throat> it's a, I, arguably one of the best cigars that Perdomo makes, but it's very limited because of the time consumption, of course, yeah. and because of the barrel aging. And what the barrel aging does, Art, is it finites the colors of the tobacco, takes out all the sharpnesses of the tobacco. Between the wood of the bourbon barrels, the alcohol, which produces a free radical so this tobacco can actually ferment again, it really produces a superior tobacco, no different than a fine single malt scotch or a great Pappy Van Winkle bourbon. So really proud of it, but because of that, we don't have many dealers that have, and only 250 cigars around the world. And you're you're one of the appointed merchants in, in the whole world. Have you? Yeah, in the whole world. Wow, it's very limited. We're only going to do 240,000 cigars this year because it's really all what we can do. So we were really selective on the uh, on the retailers. And listen, all 4,000 of our retailers are fantastic, but we just we wanted to pick stores that could that could sell this product. So it, it's been it's been super for us, and uh, we're proud to say you're you're one well, of them. Thank, thank you. you. Proud to have you say that. I'm going to guess this unknown cigar that I'm smoking is probably that. It is, and since we're in September, this actual this actual particular cigar will be released next month in October, cool. which is the 12th. And you look, we don't even have a band on this cigar. No, no. So uh, I hope you enjoy it. I uh, I sure am. Yeah, it's not exactly the most mild cigar I yeah. ever smoked, but it is smooth. It is smooth. Very it's, smooth. Uh, 
And we actually made these cigars last year in October. And the reason we did is the release date was supposed to be in April of this year, but because of packaging, and you'll see the pictures of the cigars and the packaging and so on, it took us a while for our for our band makers. You know, it's funny, in, in the cigar industry, we always think the cigars are the toughest part to get to, to make, but in reality, what's the toughest thing for us is the packaging. Yeah, getting the, the packaging people yeah. to get everything done. The boxes, thank God we're in good shape because we make our own yeah, boxes, yeah. but the paper products are what's good. So. We're extremely proud of this, and when people get to smoke this cigar, really, it's been made all, a year prior to even being shipped in boxes. So it's a really, wow. really super product. Now, do, you, do you have price points on these yet? The price points, this is one of our most expensive cigars. It'll retail between $9.99 and $13. But when you look at all the work and the type of tobacco this is, I think some other manufacturers would charge you three times or four times as much for this type of cigar. So Perdomo continues. I think offering a lot of bang for the buck, and again, we absorb the S chip tax on this particular it's cigar. Also, it's a great cigar. Thank you. I mean, it's very good. Thank you. Yeah. Now you've been in the business since you were born, right? Yep, I was born into this business. Yeah, I kind of remember when you were a much younger man. Sure, <laughs> <laughs> you get that. Old. And I'm an old guy, and I say it to you guys: you're all young compared to me. Well, no. Not that old. <laughs> but, He's done but, good, Darth. He's from the start. He he loves it. I do, absolutely. Um, I'm blessed that uh, I'm Nick Perdomo's son, you know, and I have a great father. I got a great family. Um, my dad's taught me a lot, and uh, I'm just truly blessed, and I'm enjoying this experience. And I look forward to the future, especially with you too, Dad. Thank you. Wow, that's, that's really touching. <laughs> that is touching. I knew your grandfather. And yeah, uh, there's. I'm, I miss the old man. He yeah, was. I know. He was great. When I when I used to go to the shows with. For many years, I did our trade show. You know, I used to look forward to coming into the booth. I remember him sitting back there, and you know, it was like, "This is the cigar business. This is the cigar business." I mean, we're me, everybody. It's kind of Johnny Come Lately's in a lot of cases, but you know, when I saw the 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 gentleman, the older gentleman of the business, it was really a thrill to me. Even though at that by that point, I wasn't exactly a spring chicken, but it was interesting to see another generation of Perdomos, and we have. I know we have. We have mom and your sister here as yep. well in our vast studio audience. Are you enjoying yourselves? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have the laugh machine on and the uh, clap machine on today. <laughs> but it's great, you know, to have you both here with us. And look, we love everything about Perdomo. It's a superior product. We've been with you since the beginning. We've seen the evolution of the cigars, obviously, from the beginning of La Tradition, if I recall. Yes. And, and, and things have really. Uh, just, you know, it, you guys are blessed. You have a fine product, a fine sales force. You price the products right. You know, when everybody else was raising their price after the S chip went up, you guys held the price. You didn't pass along the tax. You ate that. And, you know, not every year is a banner year. So, no, I mean, no doubt. No. It was a bitter pill, but we did the right thing. And just to go over some of the sizes, we, this particular line comes in four sizes. We're going to have a Robusto, which is a 5x56. The particular cigar we're smoking right now is um, is a new six and a half by sixty, but we're going to have a five, six, and seven by fifty six, a six and a half by sixty, and later on in the month of November we'll have the little mini Solomon, which is going to be a five and seven eighths. It's a Solomon size by about a sixty one. So some nice ring gauges because the, the consumers are asking us that art, and uh, I think we got a really nice lineup on this this new cool. Perdomo Double H. Cool. Yeah. So these cigars will be available in October at all nine cigar cigar stores as well as your neighborhood brick and mortar. If it's not us, at least support the brick and mortar stores that give you the availability of cigar lounges, the personalized service, and actually walk you through their humidors and teach you a lot about what the cigars are. So again, we thank Nick and Nick. We'll see you soon. Okay, I think it's time to put a number on this cigar. All right. Paul, why don't you start out? Set, set I got trailblaze. I got to go 4.8. I really like it a lot. That's out of five, by the way. Yeah. Glad you clarified that. Can we get the price point real quick so I can factor that in? I believe it's around eight, right? Seven. Around there. Rather robust, though. No, it's in the sevens, I think. Seven. Yeah. yeah. Seven. Seven, so, seven fifty, okay. I think. Okay. It's a very reasonably priced yes. cigar, oh, especially absolutely. for the caliber of cigar. Yes. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Scott. So we got to factor um, that. I'm going to go with the four point six. Okay. Uh, taking into the price factor as well as just how smooth it is, I'm going to say four point eight. Wow. Going with Paul. Well, just because I don't want to agree with Scott, 
four, six, five. <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> Make him do the math. As much as you don't want to agree with me. Wait, I haven't rated fudge, it yet. You know. I what? I the fudge things. I agree with me an awful lot lately. Shut up. This cigar is consistent throughout from the first draw to now I'm in about four dollars worth. <laughs> That's how I measure things. He does that all the time. All the time. Usually a cigar doesn't kick in until it's about a buck or two bucks in. Hmm? Okay. Then you so wind up throwing away Somebody a buck should or two. put out a cigar that has dollar signs <laughs> <or different points laughs> down the side. And, and by this point, patent it should taste like this. And by this point, it should. Oh, man. <laughs> Make sure you patent it. Oh, it's a great cigar. No question about it. And, and I'm just surprised the scores aren't even higher. I'm going to give this a 4.9. Whoa. Because this wow. addresses everything I like about a cigar. That's and the price true. point is very, very reasonable. To get a high quality Nicaraguan cigar like this. Puro. Yeah. Well, all the stuff has got, got a great price point. So we're, we're, yes. we're, we're in at 474 for this cigar, which yeah. is a very, remember, it's out of five, which is a great, great rating. And well deserved. Yeah, uh, well deserved. Right. Yeah. If I weren't bald, I would say hats off to Nick. And Nick. <laughs> and Nick. Nick and Nick. Nick and Nick. Well, anybody have anything they want to throw in there? I mean, yes. we're starting to run. You do? It's Perdomo month. It's Perdomo Month. Well, oh, tell us things. about Perdomo Month. Well, tell us something right. all about Perdomo Month. By now, you're probably used to us uh, working with one manufacturer for an entire month. Um, this month is Perdomo. So remind cool. me, we do sell some other things during that we, month. It isn't, it isn't like we close the humidor and no. only sell Perdomo. Sell Perdomo. We're featuring Perdomo. Yes. Featuring Perdomo. Yeah, there you go. Um, if you buy any uh, four Perdomo products, you will get one free. You're going to get you this cigar, the Robusto, or wow. the Champagne Sun Grown. Mm -hmm. If you buy six, you get two free. Um, if you buy ten, you get three free. Um, and we have events going on in all the stores. Mm. And cool. we'll have the same specials, plus you're going to be able to win. Yeah, <laughs> all our stores. Uh, you'll be able to, you, we'll have the same specials, but there's also a box special, or I'm sorry, if you buy 25, you're going to get eight for it. Wow. Mm. Yeah, plus we'll all have extra swag and that kind of stuff. Um, you love swag. Yes, Plus, if they buy a box, they get a laurel. No, uh, stop. Oh, no, 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 stop. Oh, what are we going to do next time he says that? I don't you don't have know. to do something. The else. estates of Laurel and Hardy are going to sue you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Well, let me, let me tell you when the events are. First off, do it quickly. Uh, this week, uh, Thursday, it's going to be in Reading from 12 to 3. And then, uh -huh. same, uh, same day, they're gonna, we're going to move over to Phoenixville from 5 to 8. And then on Friday, let me make sure I get this right. Yes, Freehold. Ah, from twelve to three, and then Oxford Valley from five to eight. Very nice. Yeah. And you'll be able to meet Joe Winder. Oh, he's all right. a great guy. I love Joe. He is. Joe's a very nice guy. Yes. Well, Scott, thank you and very much for that. Uh, You're welcome. Very. There's your Lauren and Hardy handshake. You know, we now only have a few seconds to say goodbye. So be brief. Smoke <laughs> often and smoke happy. Hi, mom. Life's too short to smoke cheap cigars. Wow, I got that right. Smoke sweet. Bye bye for now. Hi, dad. <laughs> Ciao for now, everybody. Ciao, baby. <laughs> well, we want to thank everybody, the staff, the crew, the audience, uh, Nick. Nick and Nick. Zycar. And, and Zycar. Zycar. Yeah. Zycar. And Zycar. And Zycar. Don't, Don't forget, for our awesome new sponsor, accessory. Zycar. Welcome aboard. As always, it's been a pleasure. We thank you for viewing our show. Remember, go out and support your local brick-and-mortar dealers. They're all over the place, not just us. Thank you. <laughs>